So the multi spinner key to power. Um, the multi spinner for me has been uh, a massive part of my training. It's something that uh, when I've been in the gym, I've basically done every single day, basically at different intensities. Um, it's in my mind, um, one of the very best cupping tools um, because it replicates arm wrestling to such an exact degree, in particular um, strap pulling. So I'll talk about uh, the construction of it before I go on because I used to, I used to make these things and sell them, but uh, I don't anymore. So they're not too complicated to make, so I'll show you. Uh, so this is with a PVC pipe. Um, but you could you could really use anything that has a, a similar kind of shape and feel. This is this one is uh, okay. So it's about three and a half uh, inches, uh, in, you know, from end to end, um, which is pretty good for uh, the division that I'm in. It, it fits my hand quite nicely, and uh, it is. It's seven, and that's too short. That's too small. It should be like at least nine, okay? Uh, and that's these just, uh, we were making a whole bunch of them, and we shortchanged them. This one is too short. If you're going to make it, go nine. Um, after that, so that's your good dimensions for, uh, for multi-spinner. Just drill a little hole in it, somewhere on the bottom. Um... It's, you're gonna you're gonna do better if you wrap it with some kind of sandpaper um, but it's it's not essential uh, just to increase your grip ability a little bit and then get a strap or a belt or something and adjust it so that when you push your hand through so I wrap it twice so it's got a little bit more uh, forgiveness and you know, it's a strap, so it's got a buckle, so you can tighten it. This way, when you put your hand through, it's just like you're in a strap, and it's kind of nice and tight. Um, your attachment, so just push uh, push anything through. Use a rope. I just use a strap because I got a lot of them lying around. Uh, and at the end, you know, get a beaner so you can hook it on to anything you like. So that's uh, basic construction. As you can see, this one's got a little bit of use. Um, really, this tool has really only two really good lifts that you can do with it. And that's uh, a high or a low drag. But really, if you're, if you're looking to be any kind of a strap puller, um, I think that this is one of the best options out there. So, uh, when, when you're going to do your exercises with it, do a vector that's basically coming, coming towards you or coming slightly downwards. I'd say that that's where you should do most of your stuff. You could maybe come a bit up, but I think that there's probably a better handle to do that. With cupping, I'd say it's a little bit more bringing it towards you and even bringing it down a little bit. Um, so, when you use the handle... Um, so push, push your hand through and try, try and get that pocket, right? try and get that little bit of space. So what I'm saying is don't grab like all around it and don't have your thumb on the outside. Push your hand through and make that pocket, Put, tuck your thumb in so your fingers are kind of nice and square. So the two exercises you can do with this is high stabilization drag. Um, and what I look for is uh, having my finger like right, right where the, the, the strap is going to pull me from. Okay, this is kind of the normal way that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this exercise. And I'm just going to drag straight towards me. Okay, this is how I'm going to do it. And, and what this does is it, it puts a big focus on your cup without the requirement of ever having to squeeze. And that's a lot the way you're gonna pull on a strap. You don't ever have to really squeeze in a strap. 
you can just drag and cut. And it targets the high part of your opponent's hand. And then as you start to begin your cut, there's going to be a little bit of stabilization through pronation. So this is kind of like a top rolling drag. But I would say that the my favorite exercise to do with the multi-spinner is the low drag. And you can typically get more horsepower out of this one, so it's fun. Okay, same kind of thing, but it's it's through the bottom. And in this one, you're gonna come forward a little bit with your shoulder. So it's more like of a pressing hook. And I would say that this is the best thing that you can do with this piece of equipment is work your strap drags. In particular, your low strap drag with shoulder commitment. Multi spinner. Того, чтобы не пропустить звездную вендетту с участием Дениса Цыплинкова, Андрея Кушкаря, Олега Жов и Бугона Ларата, регистрируйтесь сегодня на сайте Арбетский и сегодня доступ к прямой трансляции. Ссылка в описании.